Here I'm connected to a Google Cloud SQL database. And if we look at it, we can do the same old stuff as we're used to doing on our normal databases. SQL Prompt is just working. It doesn't care that we're on some cloud platform. It's just performing and doing the things that it's supposed to be doing. Oops, I'm not. However, it is. It's just working. Uh, formatting is working. All of our other functions work. So if we wanted to say, I don't know, um, let's do a, um, do a code analysis, see if there's any code analysis issues. Oh, okay, look at that. We've got a s asterisk in our in our um, code right here, so we need to get rid of that. Asterisk in the list. So we can get rid of that now. We'll get rid of that. And, you know, hit tab. And sure enough, it fills out everything. And SQL Prompt is just working. It's just doing the things it's supposed to do. So we can even take a look at some of the store procedures and see how they're laid out. And if we go to Programmability and Store Procedures and take a look at this one, you can modify the store procedure. And we can see the code. And it also has got some issues. Um, the object name is, is, is a bit messy. Um, it's got an asterisk in it. Um, let's go ahead and run the um, check for the code again. Oh, no begin and end either. So we didn't put a begin and end in here. So let's go ahead and add those. And so now if we check once again, and we've cleared all the code analysis issues. So that's great. So that's, you know, we can, we can alter this procedure and then we'll be good to go. I'm not going to do that right now because I want to be able to run demos with it again. But normally we would, we would do that right there. Now here's the deal. What about some of the other prompt stuff? What about something like, you know, find invalid objects? Does that work? Well, sure enough, it's looking through the objects now and it is, has in fact found um, a view that is missing some objects. So we can expand this out so we can see it better. And sure enough, there's a view that's missing a table. Um, it's an invalid object, where am I? And so we've got full prompt functionality within Google SQL Database. This is not something that's radically different. Um, it's more or less an instance to a degree close enough for our purposes, and we're able then to deliver you full SQL prompt functionality to ensure that you can move to the cloud with Redgate software. That's it. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.